call perhaps the most sophisticated monitoring program ever deployed in Africa or anywhere else. The election monitoring system that so impressed Hillary Clinton was created by the international NGO One World as a contribution to freer and fairer elections. Senegal was where the One World system was first deployed. In each of 1,500 polling stations, trained monitors check that proper procedures are being followed and the data is then coded so that it can be sent by SMS to the central situation room in Dakar and there instantly analysed and displayed, showing up as green for good, shading to red where problems are reported. Very, very impressive, very, very well organised. Um, seems that I'm very, very impressed with the data collection and the analysis is um, just, you know, it's unbelievable. You have to see it <laughs> to believe it in the art. Armed with information about what's happening across the country at all times on election day, Senegal's civil society leaders were able to react quickly, contacting election officials to fix problems like missing ballot papers and tipping off police about vote buying incidents in several locations. Perhaps most importantly, just knowing that someone is watching and sending reports to a central situation room tends to keep people honest. And the speed of the system means that real results can be known just hours after the polls close, making it almost impossible for a candidate to declare victory if he or she hasn't truly won the most votes. Ultimately, these tools enable local civil society to take back the lead in monitoring their own elections promoting transparent and open systems. And they give civil society the power to announce to the world, based on accurate real-time information, whether the processes were credible and the results should be accepted. We are celebrating democracy, the victory of democracy in Senegal. I think everyone was very gratified by the situation um, and the way things worked out in Senegal. Uh, because of the really good cooperation between all the different international partners, uh, I think the Senegal project was a really big success. Uh, and thanks to that, we were asked to go to Sierra Leone a few months later uh, and replicate the same sort of program uh, with the local partners there, uh, which was also a, a big success. And thanks to those two initiatives, uh, we were then asked to go on to Mali in early 2013. Now, the situation in Mali was a little bit more complex. Uh, the country had been through a coup in the previous year. Uh, the transitional government was still dealing with the rebellion in the north of the country and the international community was really hoping that elections could help bring the country back onto a strong democratic footing. But for that to happen, the elections would have to be seen and sure to be credible. And that's where One World's election monitoring system would come into play because uh, having all those election monitors all over the country monitoring what was happening could give the international community a real sense of the credibility of the elections. To help ensure that credibility, another key factor was how well informed people were about their rights and opportunities. So in the weeks running up to the election, One World and its local partners fanned out across the country, putting on street theatre presentations, sketches and games to point up the importance of voting and the issues at stake in the forthcoming election. And for people who had particular questions, One World had implemented a mobile phone service that invited them to put their queries by text messaging. And in the run-up to the election, more than 20,000 answers were given by legal experts to questions like where to vote, how to vote, and how to make an informed choice. As in any democracy, a key source of citizen information is the media. So One World and their partners helped in the training of local journalists and then monitored the results on television and radio and in the press, analysing them for issues like the tone of the coverage and the amount of time given to each of the candidates. Everything came together as the real-time information came in throughout election day so that by the evening Mali's own election monitoring team was able to say publicly that the elections were credible and that the Malian people and the whole world could have confidence in a fair, democratic outcome. One of our slogans is, I'm a citizen, I vote and I participate in my country's decisions. And we've seen a higher voter turnout than usual in these elections. For the presidential elections, the turnout was close to 50%. And for the parliamentary elections, it was over 30%. 
Somali has come a long way. There have been many elections, but with pretty low turnouts. So we feel we've revived democracy a little. We have aroused people's interest. One senior commentator said at the final press conference, Mali needs citizenship. I would say that Africa needs citizenship. And we can't stop here. We must continue the work so that citizens stay engaged and believe in democracy, because that gives them hope that their living conditions can change. After the big success in Mali, um, we were able to then take that, uh, those, a lot of those experiences onto Guinea-Bissau, uh, where our partners there had never really monitored elections before. Everybody has a cell phone. Even if you don't know how to read, you have a cell phone. We recruited 400 monitors to work in partnership with One World. Mostly of our monitors are young, young people, people that are familiarized with uh, questions of um, uh, active citizenship. I think this is mm, something innovative uh, that could set a pace for future elections. Equally positive were the reactions of distinguished observers like Nobel laureate José Ramos Horta and the past president of Mozambique, Joachim Chisano. So I, I talked with some of your uh, analysts and they, they said that they mastered the, the process. So I'm happy that in the future they are going to make difference in the observation uh, and monitoring of the elections in Guinea-Bissau. Uh, from there we've been getting requests uh, from lots of other countries. I've been in contact with people in Algeria, Madagascar, Mozambique, Malaysia uh, over the past couple months alone who are interested in using this type of system. So I think that really shows uh, that the power of the system is really resonating with people around the world. Uh, and I think one of the main uh, reasons that it's so powerful is because it's empowering domestic election monitors to do what really had been uh, the province of only international monitors in the past. And I think that played a very important role in minimizing the tensions and allowing the uh, transition process to happen smoothly in each of those countries. And the key is that the local partners there recognize the power of these tools and they continue to use them long after the election's over. So they can uh, continue monitoring the situation to make sure that the people who are elected on election day then continue to act in the best interest of the citizens long after the elections are over.